Astro 2.0 is out and this is big news. The focus in JavaScript frameworks in 2022 has very much been on making dynamic sites faster, almost to the point where they match the speed of static sites. But what if you don't want all of those complicated features and you just want to make a good static website? This is where Astro comes in. It puts a great focus on building static while not sacrificing on dynamic features. But first, let's get an overview of Astro's selling points. Astro is a bioff, a bring your own framework site builder. It does not care about the framework wars and lets you choose between React, Preact, Svelte, Vue, and a multitude of other rendering layers. It also does not care about where you deploy. You can ship this to Vercel, Dino, or Netlify, and Astro will perform the same. But enough salesman pitch. Let's talk about Astro's goal, writing content. In order to do so, Astro tries really hard to let you focus on content and making your site pleasant to your users. Let's see how it does that. First of all, every page you create will be pre-rendered at build time and Astro will send by default no JavaScript to the browser, which is awesome for loading pages fast. The second point is that Markdown has first-class support. You don't need to install anything to write pages in Markdown format or even MDX. Version 2 even added TypeScript type safety to MDX, which is mind-blowing in itself. And lastly, most of Astro's dynamic features are opt-in by default. You can do things like hydrate component, render pages on each request with SSR, or even using their hybrid rendering, but all of those features need to be enabled as the framework is static by default. In other words, Astro is opinionated about providing the fastest way of delivering content at first, but it also gives you the flexibility of other common approaches if you decide you want to use them. But now, let's talk about the latest version and see what it's about. The new version introduces a lot of great features. The first one that we mentioned was hybrid rendering, where you can choose which page is rendered at build time or with server-side rendering. They also adopted the Vite Bundler, which is one of the fastest kids on the block. That means you can now build and deploy your site in seconds. And lastly, as we mentioned above, they made MD and MDX support even better by providing full type safety to those pages. Type safety is great for DX, as this format is a little bit lacking behind in terms of developer experience, but is still widely used in blog and documentation sites. Astro is a big framework with a big promise. I know I will be giving it a try and report more on its features, but I hope this was a great overview of what it means for you if you're shopping around for a new framework that you can use or learn. If you like this kind of overview, please like this video and subscribe to the channel, as it really helps me understand topics that are liked and interesting for you. Have a great day.